Today I'm at Bedford Street Antiques. I think this is the longest I've ever not been here. Got to get my basket here. A little too gnarly for me. Price is right though. Pink spaghetti poodle. For $5, I mean, it's missing its uh, chain with its pups. It's a good deal still, but I actually just like have a lot of spaghetti poodles right now. I think I'm gonna keep looking. I love these bisque dolls. I'm not really sure why it says no arms though. <laughs> this one's so pretty. It's $39, they'll do 10%. But I think 36 might be a little high. I'm seeing a little bit of damage. And I don't think these sell. Let me see. Yeah, the bottom's right. I don't think they sell for as much as I'd like it to. This lighter display is so funny. And I wish it had a few more. Uh, it's definitely pretty pricey uh, in its own right. It's $43. Oh my god, that's so wild. <laughs> I love it. I'm like deeply into this jar. $18. I There's no way I would be able to get rid of that. I definitely would keep that in my bathroom. And I'm kind of tempted to get it. Ooh, I love this planter. I love the colors and the design. $15, that's not too bad. Looks in pretty good condition. It definitely has some age to it. I'm gonna think about it. I've had these a few times. $4 is a really good price, but I think I've sold like three or four already this year, so I'm gonna chill out with it. All right, well, the walk away test definitely worked. As soon as I started turning out of the booth, I thought to myself, what am I doing? I can't leave this here. It's so unique and the color scheme is great. Uh, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. It's gonna shine like it needs to. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I love the ballerina to, oh dang. It's right at retail, that's a shame. Well, this is the part where I say, I don't like sports stuff, but <laughs> I love this planter. It's only $7.50. Uh, it's a great deal, but I bought a couple baseball related things for the first time ever recently and I still have both of them. So mm, I think I'm gonna leave it behind. Sports really just isn't my thing. How is this not the happiest color ever? Oh, it's $50 though. So great. This candy container is uh, phenomenal, but $65 is just pretty high, honestly even after the 10% discount. This pitcher and uh, tumbler set is so pretty. Ooh, that's not for me. So I've bought these uh, swan planters a few times. Honestly, they really don't sell well. This is $10 for the bigger one and the two smaller, which seems like a good deal until I break it down in more packing material, more time, more cost less profit. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these. Got a heart height. Oh, this is new. I can already feel it. Yeah. Always check the heart planters. Oh, this is so funny. What a great advertising tin. So cute. Uh, I don't think $10 leaves a lot of room. I mean, honestly, I don't know anything about its resale value, but I'm gonna go out on a wild guess here. Wow, I really like this sewing basket. It's $10, it looks like brand new, even though it's not. Oh my gosh, the lining's in perfect condition too. Oh, I'm tempted to just like photo it without the lining, and without the plastic uh, divider and just be like, oh, it's a purse. <laughs> I don't think sewing uh, baskets are the most high, oh my gosh, look at it, it's brand new. Oh, that's crazy. I'm gonna feel bad for leaving this here. I already know, but. 
yeah. I don't think it's for me. Oh, I love these shoes. They're so cute. They're like super rich in color. They're definitely made for a child though. They look pretty small. Give the hanky pile over here. I always go through this pile when I'm here. This is so cute. I love the, <laughs> he's training his bunny. $3. It's nice, but I have a decent amount of children's hankies right now. I think I'm gonna leave it. And I looked at that set last time. Oh my gosh, how did I almost miss this? $12, that's a steal, and it says it works, but you know, the more I look at it, the more I kind of realize why it's $12. It's pretty beat up. I don't know if that can regain its uh, normal shape. Plus, this might work, but it looks pretty sketchy. Ban of stuffed animals. This monkey stands out. Come on. 18. It's pretty close, I think. Anything else in here? Oh, I'm obsessed with this green hat. Wow. It's absolutely phenomenal. $12, that's a really good price. I can't lie though, I'm a little hesitant to buy it because this would probably end up in my hallway closet. <laughs> Knickerbocker. Ooh, that's a uh, 35 tag. This is funny. <laughs> I think it's, is it a pillowcase? Yeah. Oh man, it's really cute. $7. Yeah, the price is right, but now I'm seeing all these, like, little gross stains that I can't unsee. Oh. Oh my gosh, and it's a knotter. That's so funny. Six dollars. Well, I can see that he's missing a little bit of his... Oh, it's Norcrest. Wow. Huh. I can see he's missing a little bit of fur, which doesn't really trouble me. He's got a couple spots of paint loss. There's got to be something I'm not seeing for that price. I see it now. He's got a repaired leg. <laughs> this flocked cat. Oh, it's heavy. I wasn't expecting that. Huh. It's really funny looking. <laughs> Snack plate. Oh, it's got a big chip. Dang. Oh my gosh. What? What is that? I mean, like, I feel like I've seen this before, but it's never really stood out to me like this one. I wonder. Monster musical, all right? I wonder if it works. Oh my gosh. Wow. I actually really want this to stop. Please stop. Oh, I love this lampshade. This is really cute. It's only twenty dollars. I feel like it leaves a little room, but the base is plastic, not glass. I'm really nervous that the shade would break during shipping, which is the whole point. Okay, I I'm obsessed with this uh, Roy Des cat bank. Uh, is it for the pair though? No, it's for each. So twenty five dollars for each is honestly um, retail. Surprisingly, uh, I had one of these before. I got so excited the first time I saw the cat and I put like a $30 price tag on it and it took forever to sell. This is fun. Wow. I This is like one of the only acceptable where brown is a dominant color is okay for me. Uh, but how much are they? Hmm. It's really cool set. Uh, I'm seeing now it's with the fondue set. I don't know if, is that how it's supposed to be? Huh, I'm not sure if I wanna mess with a fondue set today. <laughs> what is this guy? Oh, he's so cute. He hangs, what does it say? Santa that, Santa that what? Oh, Santa that hangs, duh, <laughs> $5. That is really neat. He's in really good condition, it looks like. He opens too. 
That's a fun holiday decoration for sure. I think I'm gonna throw that in my basket. Oh, these are so cute. I wish it wasn't missing a couple. Oh, so cute. The knee huggers that have this head, 24. Yeah, the knee huggers that have this head sell for really good money, honestly. Uh, it says he works, I believe it, but now that I'm seeing this, it really looks like he fell on hard times. I think I'm gonna leave him behind. I like this hanky box back here. Looks in pretty good condition too. Ten dollars. Let's see. Oh, it's filled with hankies. I'm gonna see what uh what's in here. It's not really looking like anything too grand, honestly. It's cute, but for ten dollars I feel like it's missing that extra little wow factor. Uh needs a little bit more color or something a little bit more surprising inside. This little prosperity bank. It's cute. Oh my gosh, I want this so bad. Oh, I've never seen anything even remotely close to this. Oh, he's winking too. This is so crazy. Let's see, 270. Oh my gosh, that's like a steal of a price. Wow. Candlesticks. Wait, <laughs> how, how have I never noticed there are arms like that? <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. All right, I'm wondering if I can clear making this. Oh, got it. Um, that was surprisingly easy. And now I'm seeing it's because it's an empty box. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is really pretty. $8. It's not a bad price, but it's falling apart a little on one side. Makes me nervous. Oh, these are so funny. Uh, $6 as is. What's wrong with it? Oh, well, it's missing the button to open it, so you can't even show you. I can't even show you what it does. <laughs> Never mind. This fish ashtray is awesome. 12 to. Ah, uh, it's got like a bunch of broken parts on the seaweed, though. I can't see past that. Oh, these are awesome. $24 is a really good price. Um, oh, so gnarly. Uh, oh, yeah, now I'm seeing why they're $24. <laughs> they're like really, really broken. Uh, yeah, totally missed that. Just kidding. Putting these back carefully. Oh, I love the rotating happy birthday plate. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And it comes with its original box. It's only $8. I'm going to see if it works. Yeah, this is definitely coming with me. All right, I'm putting this Santa back. It's cute, but it's driving me nuts. Every time I put my basket down, it pops open randomly. I can't have that. Some stone grapes. Hmm. Nice. I see a bag with a clown sticking out. <laughs> uh, 19. Hmm. Wonder what's in here though. So cute. Uh, not really seeing much more than $19 worth in here. New old stock is fun though. Ooh, Norcrest uh, Siamese cat. This is an unusual one. It's only $5. Um, it's missing its chain with its uh, little cat, but it's got its whiskers intact and it's kind of hard to find. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I like the squirrel planter. $9.50 doesn't leave that much room after fees though. A bag of deer with a pop of pink sticking out is definitely a good sign. $12 as is, oh, how is it, ooh, very as is. The pink ones are pretty hard to find. Uh, everything in here I see though is really damaged. Oh, this funny Lefton cat, $9. So I actually just had this one and I can't remember if it sold for 14 or 15, but either way, it doesn't leave that much room. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it behind. If I remember correctly, I got got by this lemon juicer last time. Yep. Pier 1, 
piggy bank's cute, but definitely too high for resale. Well, this is really different. $9. Oh, it's a little teapot. Looks in pretty good condition. I'm gonna pull it out here. Yeah, that is really unusual. I've never seen this one before. I'm gonna go ahead and get this. And look, there's another one. It says Sugar Bowl, $5. I mean, this would be even fun as a little trinket jar or potpourri. You could do so many things with this. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one too. Is this Italy? No, it's Royal Dalton. Huh. You know, I'm actually really not a big fan of Royal Dalton. $10. I... Ooh, it's really broken, too. I don't think they sell for that much, either. This cigar box is really pretty. I like that it's weathered, but it's just a little too weathered. Oh, I love these dolls. Ugh, but she's cracked. What is this? It's a back scratcher. Very unusual. <laughs> a coconut monkey. I always look for weird monkey stuff for my dad, but this might be a little too weird. He might be like, why didn't you buy me this? <laughs> yeah, it's like one of those things where you either love it or hate it. I can't decide which way I'm going. <laughs> wow, I'm really obsessed with this uh, enamel pot. It's got an oil lamp in it. <laughs> it's really nice. I'm not usually into these, but the color is so great. It's a good price too, $9.50. This is kind of random. <laughs> I've never seen one with the sports baby on it before. Elephant, sports babies. It's really heavy though. Why is it so heavy? Oh, it's a music box. Unless it plays the Rocky theme, I don't think I'm interested. I'm obsessed. <laughs> $25. Approximately size four. I think I'm a lot of things, but I don't think I'm approximately a size four. This thing is incredible. It's like so bad that it's perfect. I'm gonna see if I can wiggle into it. It's pretty great, but I'm putting it back because it's pretty sloppily made, honestly. If it was a little bit cheaper, I would do it. I mean, it would make like a great holiday cocktail dress. Oh. I love this bunny in his overalls. He's pretty gnarly. Oof, yeah, really gnarly. I can do loved, and I can do a little gnarly, but I think this uh, oversteps its boundary. Ah! Oh my gosh, I absolutely love like worn composition doll heads. Box of dolls, $30. Uh, I'm only seeing three heads though. Um, they're pretty rough, I mean, some of them are like, one of them's perfect, but if there was a couple more heads in here, I would totally get this. Uh, they make great decorations. What's going on here? Uh, what a great image. Oh, it's a puzzle. It actually looks like a really fun puzzle. Huh. This is really unusual. It looks kind of, I don't know, there's something expensive looking about it. Germany, oh, that's why. 25. Yeah, that's probably. I don't know much about it, honestly. I'm gonna leave it behind. This booth always has like the best stuff hidden. But, uh, not really seeing it today. This ginger jar is kind of nice. The cherry blossom look. But, eh, it looks like it might be newer. This is kind of fun. Mm, too high. Yeah, all right, I think I'm gonna check it out. 